of Homeland Security and deputies came to your property and seized your vehicle for no obvious reason. Well, that's exactly what a local man says happened to him last week. Now he's out almost $65,000. WBTV's Steve Fonasor, join your side investigating all new at 6. Every car and truck has a VIN number like this, and the same number engraved in several places. They all have to match, otherwise something's amiss. Last week, Homeland Security agents came to Bill and Jennifer Brinkley's carport and said something was wrong with what they found here. It was a 1985 Land Rover Defender. The Defender is fairly rare in the U.S. because most don't comply with safety and emission standards and can't be imported unless older than 25 years. Then there's an exemption. When the Brinkleys bought it last year, they checked it out. It looked great. But this federal lawsuit claims there's a problem, that the VIN number may have been changed to make it seem old enough to be imported. When the feds came here to get it, they didn't give the Brinkleys a chance to debate the issue. They knocked on my door. And took your car. And took my car. It's, it's just unnerving the way they did it. They've got 35 days to appeal, but the feds won't tell them where the car is. Now, if the VIN numbers do not matter, well, the Brinkleys say they understand then what's happened, but what they don't understand is why six or seven vehicles had to come onto their property and treat this almost like a raid to get the car. I called Homeland Security. No one called me back. The Brinkleys are trying to contact the person they bought the car from, but no luck. They've put 60000 into the car. You'll be out the money. And the vehicle. Their advice, check all VIN numbers before buying a car, especially a Land Rover Defender. In Statesville, Steve Onisorge, WBTV 